All right, here's how to, sh to show you how to use a custom file, uh, audio file or, or ringtone. Um, I believe it has to be under 30 seconds or maybe it's 40 seconds, something along those lines. It'll give you an error message if you do try to do more than that or it just won't show up. Well, uh, uh, so what I've done is I've used Audacity. Um, and then earlier I uh, just recorded a clip from YouTube, a little uh, a music segment that I wanted to use as my ringtone. Um, in this case, let's uh, just for this example, I'm just going to record my voice. Bloop. All right. So, go and make your, your sound. Bloop. Okay. And you're going to export that. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and do it as a wave. It doesn't really matter what you do it as. Um, bloop. Save. Okay. Now, we're going to open that up in uh, my computer. No, excuse me. Yeah. Open wherever that is. Um, I've got the file there, and as well as open up my computer, you'll see your Windows phone. Um, uh, I'm using the uh, Nokia Lumia uh, 630, and uh, I, I've just plugged, hooked that up with uh, with the USB cord. You can see it's uh, I'm using the Project My Screen app, um, uh, so you can see what I'm doing on the phone. Um, open up the phone, uh, phone ringtones. This is where you want to bring it. Um, just drag and drop, copy and paste, and yes, convert if it gives you the option. All right, and that's it. So I'm going to open up my phone. Okay, go to all settings and oops, um, ringtones and sounds. Um, you'll see ringtone, and it's right there. I don't think you can hear that, but yeah, and that's it. I can select that. So now it's my uh, ringtone, and I guess you could use it as a uh, further reminder as well. Yep, right there. That's how you set it as that. Super simple. Um, yeah, and that's uh, how you use an audio file or sound clip as a uh, custom ringtone or notification sound.